The only outstanding match from the ones postponed earlier in the season took place on Saturday at Fullerton Park, with Marr looking to leapfrog above Jed Forrest in the table against Kirkcaldy, who have had a mixed season so far, five good home wins, but yet to win on the road. It was going to be an interesting battle up front as well, with two of the biggest packs in National 1 going head-to-head. But it was the hosts who got on the score sheet first, despite taking on the ferocious wind in the first half, and flanker Mackenzie Pierce pirouetted in for the touchdown. Four minutes later, Scott Bickerstaff showed his power and pace to run in try number two for Marr, adding to his impressive total of tries this season. But on 20 minutes, Scott Anderson and Craig Hamilton linked up inside the Marr 22, putting the hosts under pressure, and Dale Turner capitalised with some neat footwork and a turn of pace to bring Kirkcaldy right back into the match. Four minutes later, Marr worked the way up to the try line again and Ross Miller dived in to touch the posts with the ball and make it 21-5. It was all about keeping the ball in hand for Marr and they were rewarded with a bonus try just before the break. Marr skipper Connor Bickerstaff fended off three opponents and he put winger Jack Scott in for a comfortable 28-5 lead at the turn. A word about fullback Liam McLaughlin, who was on top form as replacement kicker on the day in the absence of regular marksman Colin Sturgeon. He didn't miss a kick all afternoon, and some of them were out on the touchline in tricky conditions. After the turn, it took Marr just four minutes to add a fifth try. Their line-out was working very well on the day and a great source of possession for the men in purple. Mackenzie Pierce here knocking a hole in Kirkcaldy's defence before being stopped short of the line but scrum half Findlay Hazel was in support to pick up and go over to add to the total. Ross Miller scored his second six minutes later, the big man hard to stop from there. But then you could say a try for Marr that should have been avoided. Scott Bickerstaff receiving the freedom of Fullerton Park as he twisted and weaved through the Kirkcaldy defence, eventually going to ground. But scrum half Findlay Hazel took the initiative and glided through two defenders to notch a brace for himself. And with McLaughlin's conversion, Marr were up to 49. More secure ball at the line-out set up another attacking position for Marr. We've seen them cut through opposition a lot all season and this was textbook stuff as the ball went all the way along the line to eventually find replacement Ryan McInnes and he got past Timmy Kennedy to dot down for another converted try. Rye certainly one to watch for the future, and just before the end he collected a brace himself, diving in in almost the same place as he scored seven minutes earlier to complete a convincing win for his club. And the 63-5 result puts Marr back at the top of the table, clear of Jed Forrest.